These are your two latest sub 4 meter SUVs. And chances are, if you're watching this film, you haven't defaulted to the popular options, which are the Brezza as well as the Nexon. And rightly so, because these cars offer more in terms of features as well as what the powertrains offer. Now, which of the two should you go for? The good news is that these are both really well sorted SUVs, but you can only take home one. And to help you choose which one to go for, we are using a binary approach across nine points to pick which is the better option. The binary approach is to stick with one or zero. Winner gets one while the other car gets zero in each of the category. Here are the nine parameters we will rate them on. There's price, obviously, features including safety, space, Interior, including quality, layout, and practicality. Seating comfort, wherein we will tell you which of the two cars has the nicer set of seats. Ride quality, to fill you in on which of the two is more comfortable to travel in. Fuel efficiency, of course, but we will take our test figures and not just the ARAI figures for that. Performance, in terms of outright acceleration and drivability. And finally, drive feel wherein we will tell you which feels easier, peppier, and nicer overall to drive on a daily basis. Let's talk prices first, and we've got top spec version of both the Sonnet and the XUV, both SUVs, turbo petrols with automatic gearboxes, and as it turns out, the Sonnet is a lakh cheaper than the XUV, and so it wins. One point for the Sonnet, zero for the XUV. Now on to features and more often than not, if a car is more expensive, it packs in a higher number of features and it's no different here. So the XUV is pricier, but it packs in more features compared to the Sonnet. So that's one point for the XUV and zero for the Sonnet. There isn't a lot of difference in the feature list of the two cars. Both get six airbags, ESP, ABS with EBD and hill hold as standard in terms of safety. There's keyless entry and start, wireless charging, a detailed multimedia system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, digital driver information system, digital climate control with rear AC vents, and an opening in the roof. Both cars get ADAS as well, and a suit of connectivity features. But it is how the two deliver some of these features that make the difference. The 3XO, for instance, has the largest sunroof, and it gets a dual-zone climate control system. The Sonnet has a single zone unit, but it gets ventilation for its front seats and electric adjustment for the driver's seat as well, which are both missing in the XUV. Then again, the XUV features ADAS level 2 features, while the Sonnet makes do with level 1. Overall though, in pure objective terms, the XUV has the longer feature list. The Mahindra XUV might have won when it comes to features, but when it comes to interiors, the Sonnet clearly is our winner here. It has better interiors, the look and feel, the fit and finish, it feels more premium, the ergonomics, the practicality of the cabin is all better than the XUV. Also, Kia has gone for an all-black interior here, which looks sporty, but still upmarket, and Mahindra has gone for a lighter interior with its XUV. Not only does the Sonnet offer a better quality interior, even the seats are better than the XUV. Take the front seats, they're better contour, there's more support for the thigh and the back. And even when you move here at the rear, you find that the seat back is uh, taller and the seat bottom is firmer than the XUV. On the XUV, you sit and it starts to fold under your weight. So over longer distances, it's going to get uncomfortable. Not this. This has good thigh support. The seat is also more above the ground. So overall, the seating or the seats all around on the Sonnet are better than the XUV. The XUV wins when it comes to space as well. It is a larger car in terms of dimension, especially when it comes to width. And inside you can see that too. Now, these are based on our measurements on the inside. And it's very clear that when it comes to knee room and shoulder room in particular, the XUV is more spacious than the Sonnet. Headroom wise, there isn't a lot of difference. So if you want to see three at the back, then the XUV is definitely the better option. What also helps is the fact that it has larger windows and interior is all white so it gives you a higher sense of space the 
Sonnet wins on the ride quality front as well. Now, when you drive the Sonnet uh, at slower speeds, you will find that it feels slightly firm, while the XUV feels softer and more absorbent. But as you start going faster, as you go over poorer roads and as you load them up, the Sonnet has a much nicer rounded ride to it. It seems better damped, while the XUV can feel more crashy, a little more brittle. So there's more maturity on the Sonnet's ride compared to the XUV. Now this one here is really, really close. Uh, just to set the context, the Sonnet is the lighter car here. It also has the smaller engine and it was more fuel efficient in the city. It returned 9.8, but only just because this one returned 9.6. There really isn't much between the two. On the highway, this one uh, or the XUV was more fuel efficient, gave about 18.1 and the Sonnet returned 17.7. So again, there isn't even one KMPL difference between the two, be it in the city or on the highway. Now we weren't really, we didn't want to pick a winner here. We wanted to give one point to both or zero. But since we said we're going to pick a winner, we just averaged the fuel economy and the XUV gives uh, slightly more, maybe a 0 0.1, 0 0.2 KMPL more and therefore it is our winner in this category, one to the XUV and zero to the Sonnet, but extremely close. This result was never in question. The XUV has around 10 bhp over the Sonnet. It's also got nearly 60 Newton meters more torque. And though it has a regular torque converter automatic compared to the Sonnet's dual clutch automatic, which is widely recognized as the quicker shifting gearbox of the two, the 3XO still managed to hit 100 km per hour two seconds earlier than the Sonnet. The XUV took 10.8 seconds for its 0 to 100 km per hour run, while the Sonnet reached this mark in 13.1 seconds. The same reflects in the car's city drivability tests. The Mahindra makes overtakes easier in the city with its 20 to 80 km per hour kick down time of 6.6 .6 seconds compared to 7.5 seconds taken by the Kia. On the highway, however, the Sonnet does marginally better. It took 8.3 seconds in the 40 to 100 km per hour kick down against 9 seconds taken by the 3XO. Now, when it comes to drive feel, we're going to move away from numbers and stick to our senses. And our senses tell us that the 3XO is the nicer, easier car to drive. It has lighter controls, it has better visibility and its response, the throttle response is far more alert. So it feels like a lighter, peppier car. Not that the Sonnet is bad to drive, it's just that the XUV is better and easier. So which one should you buy? Let's lay this out more objectively for you. The 3XO wins on features, space, performance, drive feel, and though uh, we're not very sure about that, fuel economy as well, given the average that we did earlier. The Sonnet, on the other hand, uh, is of course cheaper, and it is more comfortable to be in. It has better ride, and even the interiors, they feel better built, they're more ergonomically sound. So that's five wins out of nine for the 3XO and four for the Sonnet. However, the question is, would you pay more to get a car with performance and that feels lighter and nicer to drive? Or would you choose the value equation with better quality and nicer interiors? Do let us know because we really would like to see what is your option and what you would go for. <laughs>